all right welcome back to my blogger tutorial series in the last video I showed you how to create a new blogger blog and in this particular video I'll be showing you how to go to settings and optimize your blogger blog for SEO so the first thing you do is come here where it says settings and click so you are going to land here right here these are all your settings uh, the first thing you do is to add a title for your blog and I've already done that in my last video so click there this was the name I gave my blog last time but I can still go ahead and add more keywords related to my niche for example I can add best blog about blogging so you could either leave the title of your blog short and sweet or you can add additional keywords to improve your ranking in the search engines the next thing you need to do is click here on description blogger offers you the opportunity to type 500 words description here so try as much as possible to add as many words as you can to reach up to this limit of 500 this description is very important this is actually where you need to add all the keywords all the relevant keywords that you think your potential readers are going to be searching for in Google because whatever you type here especially the keywords will trigger higher rankings for you in Google I've experimented this in my other blog and found out that it works so f for an example you can say um, catalyst blogging tutorials is one of the world's number one site for everything related to blogging on this blog we teach you how to create a blog on blogger WordPress and Wix as you can notice the keywords here are the name of my blog which is catalyst blogging tutorials it's very important to have that right there in your description so that in the future it's going to trigger your blog to show up whenever someone types the name of your blog right and uh, this is one keyword right here catalyst blogging tutorials this is another keyword here blogging another keyword here is blog another keyword here is create a blog on blogger is another keyword on WordPress is another keyword and Wix is another keyword so just make it natural and another thing you can do is you go to free tools like wordtracker.com or go to Google's own uh, keyword planner tool and do some research some keyword research bring those keywords and add them here it's very important to do that the next setting is blog language and it's already in English we leave it as English and obviously if you want to change it you just click here on English and you can select from all these languages the next setting here is adult content so you leave them unchecked do not check them because you're not creating an adult site right the next setting on on the list is Google Analytics property ID in a future tutorial I'll show you how to connect your Google Analytics ID right here on blogger and that's for this one let's skip it for now it's not very important in a future video I'll show you how to do that and the next one is the favicon and favicon is extremely important in fact it's one of the first things you should do and that is why I decided to come to the settings to have all these set up first because if you delay on choosing a favicon then you are going to be stuck with the default Google blogger favicon for life if you don't have a logo or favicon you can come down here on Fiverr and search for logo and favicon and hit search and you have literally thousands of designers that can design a logo 
and favicon for you for your site for very cheap most of them can do it for just five dollars some of them for ten dollars uh, if you have not yet signed up on fiverr click the first link in the description box below and you'll be taken here to fiverr you create an account and order for a logo slash favicon to use on your new blogger blog if you use my link you're going to get 20 percent off your first purchase let's assume you already have a logo right the dimension of the favicon must be a square for example 300 pixels by 300 pixels or 450 pixels by 450 pixels just ensure that the favicon image is a square image if not it's not going to be accepted so just go ahead and click on favicon then right here click on choose file go to where you've saved your file your favicon and click then hit on save click it again just to be sure then go ahead and exit out of this window all right so we've taken care of the favicon if you go to your site right now let's just scroll down here and uh, click on this view blog you'd notice that right here is the favicon we've just added to our site right here don't worry about all these things here the title and the description being too bulky or voluminous in your blog layout you can actually hide title this long title and also hide this description so that they don't show up on your site and i'll show you how to do that in later tutorials all right let's exit out of here and continue with our setting so we're done with favicon let's scroll down here this privacy it says visible to search engines please make sure you do not tamper with this it's already activated by default do not switch this button off if you switch it off your blog will not be shown on google or bing or any other search engines under publishing you have your blog address which is our free blog the one that ends with .blogspot.com then down here you have custom domain this is for if you want to later convert your blog to a custom domain if you want to later convert your free domain which is this one here catalyst blogging tutorials .blogspot.com to something like catalyst blogging tutorials .com without the dot blogspot look out for my future tutorials i'll show you how to purchase a domain name and link it right here under the blogger custom domain function we scroll down and the next on our list is https it's already activated by default if you're using bloggers free .blogspot domain extension you're automatically going to have https secure security certificate installed by default you don't need to worry about this as long as you're using .blogspot.com we'll scroll down further uh, okay blog admins and authors so i've already set the blog admin as my name and uh, pending author invites in the future you can invite other uh, writers to publish posts on your blog and you can invite them probably through email right we don't need this for now you scroll down under comments if you click here under comments you have all of these options for the location of your comment box if you don't want comments at all on your entire site you can click on hide if you'd like your comments to appear as a pop-up window you choose this as a full page this or embedded uh, personally I think embedded is the best so leave it at embedded save that and uh, under who can comment you click so the options here are anyone including anonymous this is not a very good idea do not select this one because you're just going to be inviting a lot of spammers and bots to come and terrorize your blog with a lot of stupid comments um, users with google accounts here and only members of this blog i think users with google accounts is the best option 
then under comment moderation click on here you have three options for comment moderation you have always moderate your comments sometimes moderate your comments or never moderate your comments by default it's on never but don't do that click on always because you don't want any spam or junk comments on your site it is going to negatively impact your site's seo so go ahead and click on save always moderate your comments scroll down this is not important oh, scroll down scroll down these are not very important for now you keep on scrolling all right if you've made it to this point in this video you are the real deal because what you're looking at right now is the most important setting under this settings option in blogger so what i mean by that is the meta tags right here aka search description the crawlers and indexing right here which deals with custom robot text and google search console so let's scroll back up to this section enable search description this search description is different from the first one we set towards the beginning of this video so we're going to activate this you turn it on by toggling this slider and when you hit on search description here you can now see this particular description has a limit of just 150 words so what this particular search description means is for example if you go to google and search for something like um how to make money blogging you see all of this this is the search description it's very important that you have a search description so that you rank higher you're going to rank higher in google just by activating this functionality the search description box is going to automatically be added to every single article or posts that you're writing so you're supposed to write unique search descriptions during writing your posts before publishing but i'll just go ahead and write something something very short something like learn how to create a profitable blog from start to finish click on save all right we're going to skip this errors and redirects all right let's go to the most important part or seo optimization on any blog be it wordpress or blogger so the first thing you do here is activate these two sliders we're going to turn on the custom robots texts and we're also going to do some work here so let's go ahead and turn it on then go ahead now and click on custom robots.txt this is the most important part of seo on a blog in conjunction with other settings you need to do in google search console or google webmasters tools so this is the code right here you have user agent media partners dash google disallow user agent blah 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 scroll down here this is supposed to be the url of your blog so make sure you come here and edit this type um the name of your blog mine is catalyst blogging tutorials dot blogspot dot com so ensure that this particular url is the same as your blog's url when you created your blog and don't worry you don't need to uh, type this yourself this code if you need this code for your blogger blog click the second link in the description box below it will take you to where you can copy this particular code uh, one important thing is that the custom robots text file content will be different for blogger users versus wordpress users if you're blogging on wordpress this is not how your custom robots text will look like that one is totally different so click the second link in the description box below it will take you to where you can copy and paste this code 
but once again make sure you change whatever you see in that code here to your own blogger URL so after doing that you can go ahead and click on save so we're done with that we we'll come here to this section where it says enable custom robots header tags we've done that we've enabled it next thing you have to do you click here on home page tags there are only two things I want you to do here and this particular home page tags you are going to turn on this slider we're going to activate all and here where it says no DP will activate it and hit save we now move to the next option which is this one archive and search page tags you click it and this particular one you won't select all the only two sliders you're going to turn on are no index and no DP so go ahead and hit save and finally the last one which is the third one here posts and page tags click on it and just like the first one we did we're going to choose all and no DP so please take note click on save so uh, we're done with the SEO settings right here on blogger we're going now to Google search console to finish up the process so basically what we're going to be doing on Google Search Console, otherwise known as Google Webmasters Tool, is we're going to submit our sitemap on Google Search Console right now. And that will complete the entire SEO optimization settings for our blog. So click on Google Search Console. It takes you to your Google Search Console. Um, we are going to be submitting our new blogger blog to Google. We have two options here. This first option is if you want to add a URL across all your subdomain. Uh, this first option is for if you already have a custom domain like example.com, cnn.com, bloggingtips.com, blah, blah, blah then you would use this option but this particular option is the one we're going to use so what you do is come here and type https or http whichever one you choose and uh, forward slash the url of your blog dot blogspot dot com when you've done that go ahead and click on continue it's checking for verification so right now Google is asking you to verify that you are the owner of this blog URL and they have many options. Uh, the first option is HTML file. I don't like this option. I think the second one is through HTML tag. This is the option that is most common and easiest. You have other methods of verification like Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager and Domain Name Provider but let's use HTML tag. Go ahead and click on it. So what you're basically going to do is, we're going to copy this code right here. Click on copy and we'll go to our blog right here. What we're going to be doing is, Google said, copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's homepage. It should go in the head section before the first body section before the first body section so we are going to paste this code we've just copied into the html code of our site the way we do that is we we'll go and click on theme right here where it says customize click on the drop down arrow and right at the bottom click on edit html all right so this entire thing right here is the code of our blog we just created scroll back up here so this is the head the head is usually always towards the beginning of the entire code so right here you can see it says head which is the same thing right here as instructed so since this is the head we we'll just click there and click on the enter button to go down here and we we'll just control V to paste 
as you can see we've just pasted this line of code right here which will enable Google to verify that we're the owner of this blog once you've pasted that like I've done go ahead and click on this disk icon right here that says save so basically we're saving the changes we've made to this code now that we've done that you will go back here to Google search console and click on verify it says ownership verified go ahead and click on done so if you come over here this drop down arrow right here search property and click you'll see a list of all your sites your websites and blogs that you've added to Google search console this is the one we've just added right now catalyst blogging tutorials right here and what we should do is to add other variations of our domain name to Google Search Console. For example, this first one I added was HTTPS. You can take out this S and we'll add the HTTP version to Google Search Console. Click on continue. And since we already have the code on our site, we don't need to verify this a second time. It's going to verify your site automatically. Click on done. What you need to do now is let's click on this first one. So these are the tools at your disposal for you to track, manage, monitor, and optimize your site's performance through this Google Search Console. Right here where it says Site Maps, click on it. We are going to inform Google where they can find our site map. So what we'll type here is sitemap.xml. So our blog URL dot blogspot.com forward slash sitemap dot XML. And normally it's supposed to say success here, but probably it's because we don't have any posts published. We have zero posts uh, published. Let's try creating a new post and see what happens. go ahead and publish that okay now that I've published a post and we'll go back here and choose the next one which is HTTPS and we're going to do the same thing go to sitemaps and type sitemap.xml hit on submit you can go ahead and close the window we have successfully submitted our site information to Google so now any posts we publish will be picked up by Google's search engine crawlers or search engine robots. So there you have it, the complete tutorial of how to optimize your new blogger blog for SEO. Thank you for watching this video. Do well to check out the next video where I'll show you how to change your blogger template or theme to a more professional looking premium theme. I'll show you how to change your blog templates from this basic looking template to something like this or this. See you in the next video.